right, so we're gonna try this again today. So I went ahead and uh, recarved out these grooves and made them a bit deeper. And I also learned that the reason that I have two of these uh, rollers they? is because one of these is supposed to spread the ink on and the other one is supposed to roll over the paper. So that was one of their major reasons why I was failing last time. But also the grooves weren't deep enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to give it another reprint today. So hopefully it comes out a little bit better today. It looks a little better except for right here. I'm worried about this spot. Well, round two is definitely better. All right, so for those of you that don't fish, this is what's called a popper. So that's actually what I carved out here. It's just a popper. So I'm just about to add the hooks on. That's pretty much all that's left for this. Okay, so if there's gonna be a weak point, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this back hook. Um, I broke off one of the screws when I was trying to put it in right here, or actually two of them. So I ended up having to hang the hook here, but it still didn't feel, felt like these screws were bending when I was screwing them in. So I don't know, we'll see. But other than that, it's good to go. The only thing left to do is do a float test and then uh, I'm probably gonna take this to fish with it tomorrow. We've had a lot of rain here at night recently, pretty heavy downpour, so I'm pretty sure the creeks are gonna be blown out. So I'm just gonna test this and maybe we'll go try out tomorrow morning or something. All right, looking good, looking good. So I've been watching these birds behind me. They'll come like every three minutes. They'll be here and then they'll be building their nest. And after they finish abusing all their materials, they'll leave for again for another three minutes and gather and come back and keep building. It's pretty interesting to watch. The good thing is that I actually see some sunfish today. I haven't seen any bass yet, which would be the most likely thing to take this lure I'm thinking, but maybe a large sunfish will. So, I'm gonna start off casting next to that structure out there. Look at all these fish following it. Oh man, there's a big green sunfish right there. Always. Oh, he's, he's right there, I'm gonna throw it on top of him. had it oh my gosh come on man the fish are all on the opposite side There we go. Oh, that's a good fish. Come on, stay on. Oh, stay on. Oh, oh yes, man. Ooh. 30 minutes and 19 seconds in. 30 minutes and 19 seconds in, I got one. All right, man, we're three of three. Three of three. 
Anybody got anything else, let me know. What lure next? That seriously makes me so happy, man. These little successes in life, mood boosters. But uh, anyways, I think the issue with, I, I don't know what the issue was. I had so many fish go for this, but it took me so long to actually get one on. But I'm gonna tie on that little crankbait and see if I have a lot more success quick on, and then I'm gonna take off. So I'm gonna tie this on. All right, well, I just split the lip on this little crankbait and I have like on the second or third lure. So uh, it's gonna make things a little bit more difficult. I also gotta be careful walking through here. There's a bunch of big old snakes that will be here sometimes. Gotta be careful about that. But I mean, generally speaking, you know, they avoid you, you avoid them, and you go in peace. 